Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Now from this video session guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist of WordPress called WordPress WP CLI Tutorials. And this is our first part. Inside this video session guys, we will see about overview of WP CLI as well as how can we install in our local system. If you go to the next tab, so first of all, we need to understand that what is WordPress CLI. WordPress provides a graphical user interface for every administrative task and this has helped to make it the most popular content management system on the web. What is the meaning of this line? The meaning is that WordPress provides a well structured graphical user interface. Here, Graphical user interface indicates all about the admin panel. Here we have a well prepared admin for panel for the dashboard, post and so on, so that any non-technical user can easily operate and work with the WordPress. There is no need of any developer for creating the pages. Only instead we have to click on the button use some Gutenberg blocks and develop a page. So this is nowadays becomes a most popular CMS so that any user can use freely without the need of any developers. But let's say that we want to operate all the functionality of WordPress by using our terminal based command. So it will be highly productivity when we manage our WordPress panel by the use of command prompts as well as by the help of some commands over terminal. Back, out, back to slide. So but in terms of working with the command line enables us to accomplish many such tasks more efficiently and quickly. So what is the meaning of a WP CLI from these lines is that WP CLI is a set of command line tools that provide search functionality for managing WordPress websites. So from the first point we can understand that WP CLI, CLI stands for command line interface. So instead of using graphical user interface we have now this time a command line interface which is a set of command line tools. Means Inside this WP CLI, we have some set of commands. By the help of set of commands, we can easily manage this WordPress website. No need to even log in inside this WordPress. But remember, this is for the developers. Non-technical persons has to be more steady or they have to do more R&D over the command line tool. Back to editor. WP CLI is one of the command line tools specifically made to manage our WordPress websites through the command line. With a few simple commands, we can manage WordPress without even logging to our WordPress admin and navigate through the pages. The same meaning that by using our commands over our command line tool, we don't want any login even on the admin panel of the WordPress. We can simply manage via our terminal, command prompt or any of the our command based editor. So this should be highly recommended for the developers who have a good concept of using terminal commands, command prompts and etc. Because while hitting or while running any command from our command line interface like from the terminal, it can't be undo. So let's say that if we want to delete some theme, if we want to delete some plugin by using command line tool, then it will go and delete from the WordPress panel. So while using WP CLI, we need to keep in our mind that we can operate with a set of command tools. So let's see that how can we install WP CLI inside our local system. So we have few steps that we have to follow to install WP CLI inside our local system. After installation of this WP CLI 
to our local system, we can easily work and manage about WordPress posts, themes, plugins and so on all the functionality what we can do manually by going through this admin panel. Let's say that if we want to install some plugin, what basically we will do by this manual way, we go inside this U plugin section, click on add new, we can install or install via a zipped folder and activate. But the same thing or the same task of this admin panel, we can also achieve by using our terminal based command. So WP CLI we are ready to install. So need to run series of commands step by step. So this is the first command that we need to run. So copy the command back to terminal pasting it here. Now this is all about that we are going to execute our command. So before making this video I have already installed step by step all these commands. So after running all these A to D means the first command something using curl, second we are using PHP, third we are using or giving a permission and finally we are moving this file. So from A to D after installation of WP CLI, if we want to verify about successful installation to our local system, simply we need to type WP and this is all about info flag. This command is a verification command to check successful installation of WP CLI inside a local system. So if we go here and let's say that if I want to check that inside this system installation, simply what I have to do, I have to type WP and this is all about info flag. Pressing enter. Now as you can see that this is all about my operating system details, cell, PHP binary, PHP version, PHP INI is used inside this for this WP and all about the details of WP CLI. This is my root directory where I have downloaded about FAR file and installed. This is WP CLI root directory, vendor directory, FAR path. This FAR path basically the FAR file what we are going to download from this first command. By using this curl it is simply going to this URL and all about downloading this WP CLI FAR file. So go here. All about we have packages directory, global config, project config and version. So this is all about WP CLI installation as well as verification for our local system. If I back to slides, now these are the commands basically I have taken from the official website of WPCLI.org. Back to browser, go here. Now if we type simply WP CLI inside search engine, now this is the URL called WP-CLI.org. This is the official website. Inside this, we are using step by step all about the installation. So go inside this installing section. We can see that we have the first method by using this curl. Second we have by using this PHP. Third we have this giving permission chmod and all about fourth all about moving our file. And finally, if we want to install or verify about WP CLI was installed successfully or not, simply need to type WP info. This is all about the details we will get. It return, it means that successful installation. Otherwise, if we get some error, it means that the WP CLI didn't install in our local system. So from the next video session guys, we will see that all about the detailed concept of available commands inside this WP CLI and step by step we will move each command to manage our admin panel not from this manual managing admin panel. Instead we are not going to log in inside this WordPress panel we will manage each of the WordPress things like creating posts, storing medias, like installing plugin, installing database, 
creating database and so on by the help of available command line tools. Back to slide. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.